NASCAR is probably the only sport where people don't feel fully comfortable admitting that they're a fan. Even when NASCAR was big time in the 2000s, it was still something you didn't want to shout out to the world. But if you're feeling brave and proceed to tell people you're a fan, be ready for people to look at you like you're crazy or something. Then after that, they'll laugh at you. Then get ready for the left turn jokes. Oh, all they do is turn left. Then they make another left. Then they make another left. Oh, shut the fuck up. These people must not realize that I can make every other sport sound basic as well. In football, you're running pig skin down the field. In basketball, you're throwing a ball into a net. In baseball, you're hitting a ball with a bat. In soccer, you're kicking a ball around. Knowing damn well it's more to it when it comes to all of these sports. Same thing applies to NASCAR. I just don't understand the ignorance towards NASCAR. I'm not really into basketball and football like that, but I don't go around talking shit about those sports. And no matter what you say to these people, they proceed to be ignorant anyway. Clearly, they're so uninformed about the sport. You can't talk to them, so when they continue to be ignorant, that makes me want to say something along the lines of, I don't know, shut your bitch ass up. Educate yourself about NASCAR before you speak. Last time I checked, it requires a lot to drive a stock car. But before I even get into that, NASCAR races their road courses throughout the year as well, people. That requires turning right. Yes, a good portion of the NASCAR schedule are oval tracks that requires turning left, but each of these tracks present different challenges for the drivers. None of these tracks are easy, not even Daytona and Talladega where you're flat out. How about you climb into a race car that's capable of reaching 180 miles per hour and see if you can hold it wide open? Let's put 39 other drivers around you as well and see how you do. Human beings are climbing into a race car for 10 straight months, putting their life on the line. There's a way higher risk of dying in auto racing than it is in sticking ball sports. It's a huge risk driving a race car, period. In the back of their minds, they know the risk they're taking, but they proceed to get in that race car every week because they love what they do and it's what they do for a living, even though they know the risk that comes with it. Race car drivers are right up there with soldiers when it comes to being some of the most brave people to walk this earth. But apparently what these guys and girls do is basic. The people that make these stereotypical comments sound ridiculous. These are also the same people that want to sit here and say that NASCAR drivers aren't athletes. Yeah, okay, let's look up the definition of athlete. A person who is trained or skilled in exercises, sports, or games requiring physical strength, agility, or stamina. Hmm, it's almost like you need physical strength, agility, and stamina to be a NASCAR driver and just being a race car driver, period. Driving a race car isn't a Sunday drive. You're driving a machine that's capable of reaching speeds up to 190 miles per hour. And by the way, they're not easy to drive. These drivers are withstanding a ton of G-forces, which is hard on the body. They're dealing with temperatures well over 100 degrees while trying to focus at the task at hand, which is to beat 39 other competitors on a track. A NASCAR Cup Series race is usually three hours long. So think about how grueling that is to sit inside of a vehicle for three hours and temperatures of over 100 degrees while trying to overcome so many other challenges during that race. Some of those challenges are fighting with the race car which goes through different handling characteristics throughout the race. Drivers gotta have cat-like reflexes for situations like when the car gets away from them and trying their absolute best to save it so they don't wreck the damn thing. And also having to react quickly when avoiding a wreck that's happening right in front of them. For a race car driver, it's absolutely frightening and stressful being strapped in that race car for many hours dealing with so many hurdles that come their way. It's not like these drivers sit on their ass all week and then hop into a race car on Sunday. They train throughout the week making sure they're in the best shape possible for every race. It's an endurance series after all. You also factor in all the other stuff they do leading up to a race like studying film and looking at data to see how they can be better for the track they're going to. If these drivers don't train to be in shape, they're most likely going to fall out of the seat throughout the race. It's been so many drivers that have been completely out of it after a race. We've seen plenty of drivers passing out and needing fluids over the years. If you're not in shape, you're not lasting the whole race. Don't try to sit here and tell me that drivers aren't athletes. I remember a decade ago when Donovan McNabb made headlines for saying that NASCAR drivers aren't athletes. He just thinks they drive a car and actually question what's athletic about that. Once again, someone that's making NASCAR sound so basic when it's not. He's making it sound like a driver is just easily driving a car and it doesn't require any athleticism. This isn't a regular car you drive on the street. It's a 3,200 pound vehicle that has well over 600 horsepower with no air conditioning. It's a beast that you're trying to tame for three to four hours. Even an athlete like Donovan McNabb wouldn't last 30 minutes in a race car. He would change his tune real quick if he was to attempt a NASCAR race. I guess I shouldn't be shocked that he says something like this. I mean, this is the same guy who thought Danica Patrick won the Daytona 500 because she won the pole for the race. 
yeah, it's pretty clear that he's uneducated about auto racing. I explained what a driver goes through in a race, but if you really want to know the science behind what NASCAR drivers go through in a race car, then just simply YouTube ESPN Sports Science with Denny Hamlin. They dive way deeper into what the driver's bodies are dealing with when they're in a race and they compare them to athletes in other sports. That video is just even more evidence of why race car drivers are athletes and hopefully you would think that video will make people remove the blindness they have on and see the many challenges of NASCAR instead of continuing to have such an ignorant stance on it. The sad thing is it doesn't stop there. You also got people saying NASCAR isn't a sport? Oh my god, I guess we gotta look up the definition of sport. I'm not even about to read this, just look at it. The fact that someone can go up to you with a straight face and say that NASCAR doesn't fit that definition sounds so insane that you might as well just laugh because it sounds stupid. It's a team sport, the driver, the pit crew, the crew chief, and all the guys back at the shop who work on these vehicles. It takes a collaborative effort from all these people to be successful. NASCAR is a sport, but people will deny it and that's the thing that pisses me off. You can bring so many facts to the table and these people will just bypass all of it. It's like talking to a brick wall. If I just provided facts, then that's when it's time to shut up. And trust me, I had this argument many times before with people and what usually happens is that they will ignore all of the facts you just provided, say that you're wrong and start to make jokes. So at that point, fuck it. Why even bother? Best thing to do is just to ignore them because they're obviously being ignorant. Yeah, I'm making it pretty clear that the ignorance people show towards NASCAR kind of irritates me. I mean, shit, I'm making a video about it after all. It just sucks that there's so many NASCAR fans out there that aren't comfortable admitting that they're a fan of the sport. It shouldn't be that way. When it comes to me, I don't hesitate. I admit that I'm a NASCAR fan and don't feel any embarrassment about it. But back then when I was in elementary and high school, I was nervous to admit it. And the times when I did, I got laughed at and then they started to make jokes. But you just gotta remember a few things. Number one, these people are obviously uneducated about the sport. Fuck them. Number two, you know what NASCAR is all about. It's a viewing experience like no other, especially when you're at a NASCAR race in person. Most sporting events are the same, not saying the experience is bad at all. I've been to multiple baseball games to watch my Chicago Cubs, and I had a lot of fun in those games. But going to a NASCAR race is just different. The noise of the cars, the rumble you feel through your body when the cars are going by, the smell of fuel and tire rubber, it's like nothing else. Be proud to be a NASCAR fan. And yeah, while it's unique, it's still a sport, and the people that participate in this sport are athletes. I want to know how you guys handle the ignorance people show towards NASCAR. Do you ignore it? Is it something that has always bothered you? I'm really looking forward to reading the comments because I know a lot of y'all are going to have some interesting things to say about this. So. I'm going to go ahead and roll up out of here. Y'all have a good one. Peace.